Boy, I saw the cutest little furry kitten. Furry just like me. I love kittens, don't you? Let's draw one, huh? Let's see what we need in our shape library to draw a kitten. Well, I think we're gonna need kind of like a square rectangle shape like that. A little bit bowed on the side like it's inflated, huh? And then, I think a triangle shape. That kind of has rounded sides too. And then our good friend the ellipse. And do you remember that kind of inflated L shape we used for the puppy? We're gonna use that again, okay? And then our good friend the S curve. Okay, that's our shape library. Let's put it all together down here and see what we can do. All right, I'm gonna start with that big rectangle shape, kind of curving out the edges like we said, like somebody inflated it with air, huh? That's gonna be the head. That's a good start. Now let's do that center line. That helps me lay everything in. And one going the other way like that. The eyes will go on that line. Okay, what next? I think we'll do the body next. It's kind of a triangular shape. Again, a little bowed out on the edges like that, okay? All right, let's keep going. What do we need now? Oh, I think we need to add the ears. Yeah, something like that. Nice big triangles on top of the head. Keep going over them and changing them a little bit this way or a little bit that way. What next? Hmm, oh yeah, let's use that kind of inflated L shape, huh? That's gonna be the front paws. There's that one. Now I'm just gonna draw the other side, pointing the other direction. You see it coming together? I do. All right, what should we do next? Hmm, oh well, don't forget the back paws. Yeah, there we go, you just see a little bit of the feet there, I think. Let's see, I'm gonna draw the bottom part of the face. That's kind of important on cute little kittens, right? They're so snugly there. Let's do the eyes next. We're gonna do an ellipse here and an ellipse there. Kind of angled up a little bit to the side, so it kind of looks kitten-like, huh? Let's see, what now? Um, oh, I know. Let's do the nose next. That's also like a triangle that's kind of pointing down. This time it bows in, not out like that. See that? That's kind of where the cheeks are. All right. Hmm, looking good. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the S curve. That's going to be the tail. See that sort of peeking up from behind? You can do all this any way you like. You don't have to follow me exactly. All right, what else can we add? Hmm, I'm liking it. Well, I think I need to move this ear over a little bit. And don't they kind of have like a shape like that? It's like the inside of the ear. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to darken up this side here too. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I darken things up as I feel good about them. That's why we stay light and loose at first. Light and loose. Now, that side of fur that sticks out from their face like that. It's so cute, isn't it? Kind of makes you just want to pet them and snuggle them, I think. Curve down. Pull those lines towards you. Helps you have a little bit more control. See how I slow down? That helps me. All right. Let's keep going. Hmm. Well, I like to draw the highlights in the eyes like that first. And then, remember that trick we learned about how to do cartoon eye? That's just going to help me place the eyebrows right where they belong. Hey, now that smile. Cute. <laughs> it's coming together, I think. That's doing open mouth. That always makes your character seem like they're more alive and happy to see you. I'm going to darken things up. Come back. Go over those lines. Darken it in a little bit. There. Once you put the eyes in like that, you really start to see your character come to life. Look at it. Remember, people look where the dark lines are. Okay. Let's see, don't kittens kind of have that fur on their chest like that? So cute and snuggly. I like to kind of just do fun shapes like that, like a scallop edge. Remember, we used that before. There we go. All right, I'm going to start adding some details, like those little kitten toe lines. What else? Well, you can sort of darken up the body and outline it again as you feel good about it. I'm going to do that to the bottom of the face. That's a really important part, I think. Go nice and slow down here. Just pick out the line that I like. That's why we say light and loose at first. Light and loose. 
fur on top of the head. Going over that line even again. One more time. Hmm. Let's see. Just keep going over the stuff that you like. Pretty good, huh? You know what? I have to tell you. This is like kind of my favorite part of the drawing. Because I can really just relax. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not worried about what happened yesterday. What's happening tomorrow. I just go over my lines. Pick the ones I like. Darken them up. Pull it towards me. Add little details. Alright. Kind of calms down my little monkey mind. <laughs> monkey mind. When the things are in the back, sometimes I'll put a little shading on it like that. It makes it look like it's behind it, huh? Alright. Let's see, what else should we add? Oh! The whiskers! Don't forget those! That really makes a kitten, huh? Let's see. Hmm. What should we have our kitten sitting on? Don't they like to sit on snugly soft pillows? How about that? Just a couple of curves like this. Let's add something fancy on the end like that. Looking good. All right. Uh, I'm gonna add a little heart to it like that. You can make hearts any kind of wavy shape you want. I want to see what you guys come up with. Try different shapes and stuff. Now I'm just adding some dark things here and there. Making some lines pop. Bringing it all together. I think it's looking good. Let's put a shadow down here. That really makes it look like it's sitting on something. And not just floating in the air or something like that. There we go. Alright, little kitty. Boy, I could just do this all day. So you slow down and just pull those lines towards you. Maybe I'll make the nose a little bit darker on top like that. Hmm. All right, I'm liking it. There's our little snuggly kitty. Boy, that was fun. Did you guys have a good time? I sure love drawing. I could keep going. I probably will later, too. I like to come back to my drawings and see what I want to add and change later. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add little highlights even in the hearts. Boy, that was fun. Okay, keep drawing, guys. We'll see you later. I have an idea. Hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the fun videos we're creating. Keep having fun drawing. Okay, we'll see you later.